So the polls are open here at 6 o'clock on the dot. We thank you so much for spending your Election Day morning right here with us. I'm Joe Chiodo. And I'm Gina Bullard. Election Day 2020, it's finally here. Over 97 million Americans voted prior to today. That is a record for early voting. It's almost two-thirds the total number of ballots cast in 2016. Impressive numbers we're seeing this morning. KCTV5 does stand for you. We have team coverage on this 2020 election morning. We will be showing you live looks at the polls before you head out to vote to see just how how long they are and we have insight into how things are shaping up as voting gets underway. Our Abigail James is in Arrowhead checking in on voters there and how they have transformed it from Chiefs Kingdom into voting kingdom. And Savannah Rudisell is in Overland Park checking <laughs> out things on the Kansas side. You can also see that Kansas voter line getting very long. We have a crew at the World War One Museum checking out things there. We want to get started at Arrowhead where polling just got underway. Abigail, what are things looking like there? You know, Gene, I actually just heard a bunch of people cheer behind me. I think it's because they are just now starting to open up the doors this morning so people can go inside. Last we counted, probably about 15 or so minutes ago, there were around 60 people that were in line. However, uh, like I said, that was about 15 minutes ago, and this line just keeps on growing this morning out here at Arrowhead. Now, if you are planning, if anyone is planning to come out here to vote today, you are to come to the Founders Club level, which is on the north side of the stadium. You can see they have it all set up out here so people can social distance and they can maintain a be in a line format. Now half of the voting machines being used at Arrowhead today were purchased with the help of Arrowhead and the Mahomes Foundation. Proper face coverings are mandatory for voters and staff inside and outside the stadium while in line to vote. The KCATA is even running an express route to Arrowhead from 12th and Charlotte. That is free of charge. Now, we spoke to some people out here this morning. The first person that got in line, he got here at 340. Uh, we spoke to some other people out here this morning. There are a bunch of families that came out, and here's what one family had to say. This is a historic moment. Uh, if we aren't out letting our voices be heard, it's shame on us. But the Chiefs to step up and do what they do, this is phenomenal. This is truly phenomenal. We support the Chiefs, and today the Chiefs are supporting us. Now, they even have food trucks out here, uh, which is a, a pretty cool added touch. Now, the parking uh, will be in lot M. That is right in between both of the stadiums. Uh, so if you're coming out here, make sure that that's where you park. Now, the Chiefs and the NFL in general have really come together to encourage voting and civic engagement this election season. We'll have more on that coming up in just 30 minutes. Plus, I believe we're going to actually be able to get inside where everyone's voting to just kind of get a little sneak peek of what everything looks like. So be sure to tune in, uh, like I said, in just uh, probably a little little over 30 minutes away from, from being able to see that. Reporting live, Abigail James, KCTV 5 News. Well, if you're wondering if you should vote early this morning and get out of bed, I think that was your answer. Those lines <laughs> are looking long. Thank you, Abby. We do